This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. PennDOT has some advice to make sure we all make it to the dinner table safe this Thanksgiving holiday. Happy New Week and thank you for watching everyone. I'm Ken Carr with your local information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Flames chased five people from a double block home in Hazelton over the weekend. Firefighters responded to 353, 355 Muir Avenue in Hazelton Heights on Saturday morning. Both sides of the home were occupied at the time. A passerby reported the fire. The American Red Cross is assisting those displaced by the fire. Back in July, crews responded to the garage behind the house for a fire that started with a lit cigarette. The Thanksgiving holiday is just three days away, and that means many of you will be heading over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house. Before you take to the highways, our Lisa Sugar has important travel tips from PennDOT. Many people will be taking to the highways this holiday season. Here to give us some important advice are our friends from PennDOT. We have James May, who is the regional press director, and Mike Toludo, the safety press officer. Thank you both for being here as usual. Mike, I'm going to start with you. One of the most popular things, I think, when people are traveling are the coffee breaks that are out there. Yeah, absolutely. This is a busy weekend for travelers. So starting on, on Wednesday, before Thanksgiving and right through a Sunday, there are going to be coffee breaks at the rest areas and the welcome centers throughout northeastern Pennsylvania. And these are local organizations that are giving out free coffee, but they're hoping you'll make a donation to them as well. Right. Nonprofit organizations go out there to help the dri driving public and you give them a donation for your coffee. Sounds like a good idea. It's always a good thing to take a break. And there's also going to be stepped up patrols out there as well by the police. Right. Local and state police will be out starting on Wednesday and go all the way through to New Year's. They'll be doing um, randomly DUI checkpoints. Some will be done in the night, some will be done in the morning, uh, all different times to keep the public safe. That's very good to know as well. And James, I know that there's going to be construction out there as well. So when people want to know what's going on, you have a device for that. The 511 app or going on to the website 511pa.com. Uh, many times we use that to see what the uh, winter trucks are doing. You can actually track the snow plows that are out there. So whether you're looking at the winter snow plows or you just want to see the construction, mm -hmm. um, if you're heading out over the holiday weekend, you know, a lot of us are going over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house. And if you want to know where the construction along the way to grandma's house, 511pa.com. All right. Congratulations to you because I know you just became a grandpa. So you wanted to bring some safety tips for that as well. Well, this is the time of year where a lot of extended families are getting together. And, you know, for those of us who are new grandparents, hello, Theo. Uh, for those of us who are new grandparents, uh, it's important that we understand something like a car seat. You know, things have changed a lot from when we were younger or maybe when we, even when we were parents. And uh, it's important that if we are with our grandkids and we're transporting them, one, make sure you know the law and make sure you know how to keep kids safe in the car seat. Um, ask. And so if maybe your daughter-in-law or your son or your son-in-law, if, if they know how to use that car seat, uh, I would highly recommend you ask them to have them show you how to do it. Um, you can also go to our website. There's some information on there. Uh, www.pen.pa.gov, uh, or you can go to um, pakidstravelsafe.com uh, or, or .org, and there's some information there as well. All right, great advice to keep you safe, guys. Thanks for coming in. Safe travels to you, and safe travels to you. Thank you, Lisa. And just a reminder that PennDOT license and photo centers will be closed Thursday and Friday for the Thanksgiving holiday. This Thursday marks the 40th anniversary of a free community dinner in the Hazleton area. The Commission on Economic Opportunity will once again host the Thanksgiving Day dinner at an Annunciation Parish at St. Gabriel's Church in Hazleton. The free meal will be served from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Just a reminder that those in need of a delivery are asked to call 570-455-4994, extension 103, by tomorrow morning, if possible, to make arrangements. Everyone is invited to attend this fun friendly time of food and fellowship. And speaking of delicious food, how about a tasty giveaway from Booty's Restaurant? Call us now, 570-455-7267, extension 108, to enter to win a gift card to Booty's Place in the Churchill Mall. Leave your full name, phone number, and today's secret word, garlic. The winner will receive a $15 gift card to Booty's Place. Quality homemade food made to order. You can only win once every 30 days on SSP-TV. 
Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Beautiful shot from our Tim Novotny this afternoon after we all went out for a little coffee. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service now. Partly cloudy tonight, we'll have a low of 34 degrees. Then on Tuesday, mostly sunny, high near 52. Heat wave Tuesday night, mostly cloudy, low of 37 degrees. Back in the 50s on Wednesday, showers likely 60% chance. We will have wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Showers likely Wednesday night, low of 34 degrees. It will be breezy again, 60% chance of precipitation on Thanksgiving Day. Mostly sunny, high of only 38. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low of 26. Black Friday, mostly sunny, high of 37. And Friday night, partly cloudy, low of 25 degrees. I went to Hope and Coffee in Tamaqua last week, and there was a lot of buzz around the town about the local football team. That buzz is probably even louder this week. The Blue Raiders beat Wyoming missing 22-10 in the State 3A football quarterfinals. They'll face Wyoming area on Friday in the Eastern Final at 7 p.m. at Wyoming Valley West Stadium in Kingston. Nate Boyle rushed for 206 yards and had an interception on defense against Wyoming missing. Matt Kissler had 112 receiving yards and an interception on defense. And Braden Knobloch passed for 155 yards. Standard Speaker Sports Editor Dave Seaman and I talk about the Raiders on our sister show, Community NEPA News This Week. Advanced tickets for Friday night's game are on sale Tuesday and Wednesday at Tamaqua Area High School's main office from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. They will play Wyoming area. The Penn State Hazleton basketball teams lost to Penn State Greater Allegheny recently. And the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins split two games this weekend. They are third in the AHL Atlantic Division, three points behind Hartford, and the Penns host Lehigh Valley on Thanksgiving Eve at 7.05 p.m. Coming up in sports, Ron Marchetti talks a lot of college football, and John Eric Poli is back with a counterpunch segment with a local angle. And next, a local family is happy to be together this Thanksgiving after almost losing a loved one thanks to complications from vaping. Watch SSP TV in Scranton Friday and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon on Comcast Cable Channel 190. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. CEO will be having a free Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving Day from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Annunciation Parish at St. Gabriel's Church. Delivery is also available. For more information or to reserve a spot, you can call 570-455-4994, extension 103. The Fight and Flight fundraiser for Patty will be held on Sunday with a spaghetti and meatball dinner. The event will be at the Butler Township Firehouse from 12 noon until 4 p.m. Tickets are $10. Faith Assembly of God Church will be having the sounds of Christmas with music being held every Sunday, including this Sunday at 10 a.m. For more information, you can call 570-459-2410. And a reminder that this Friday night will be the ninth concert for Rebecca and all victims of domestic violence. The event will be held from 6 until 10.30 p.m. at Sand Springs Country Club and Drums. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Joseph Lutinsky of Freeland, the McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home, will announce their arrangement. And Eleanor J. Schneider of Whitehaven. Mass be Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. at Immaculate Conception Parish at St. Anne's Church. Friends may call Wednesday from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. at the church. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Today's social obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.